Hello everybody and welcome back to Spiritfarer. So this time around, whoop, wrong button. We are going to, um, we need to find, we need to look at the new stock in the vending machine for Jackie. Buck wants us to do something and we're also waiting to see if Beverly wants us to do something. I think when we go back to Jackie, we might meet the last of the new spirits that we haven't seen yet, but I'm not entirely sure. We're just gonna have to see where it goes. A visitor! Hmm. What are you doing here? This place is closed. Shut down. Abandoned. Nobody comes here. Hmm. It's like a graveyard. This was my factory, Crow's End Inc. Hmm. You don't believe I could own a factory? Well, I did. And it was the biggest mistake of my life. Mm -hmm. I had employees. I had deals. I had shipping manifests. Mm -hmm. The whole nine yards. I had all the things a company could have. Mm -hmm. How did I lose it all, you ask? It wasn't my fault. It's those damn Theodores. Mm -hmm. They come in all innocent. Look at us, we're Raccoon Inc. Then, when you're not looking, they take your territory. Mm -hmm. District by district. They steal your employees. They crush your dreams. Mm -hmm. And... And... They smile at you while they're doing it. Mm -hmm. Animals! I mean, they are animals. Then your wife leaves you and your kids don't even look you in the eyes. Never. Ooh. I say never own a factory. Oh, okay. Thanks for warning me. Can you let me in? Can I have the key? Ooh. Leave me alone with my broken dreams. Alright, I'm sorry. <laughs> Huh. Can I not look at it? I don't know. Maybe. Did I miss it? Hang on. Beverly! I'm back. I know I was gone all day. I'm glad you didn't forget. I'm coming. Sweet pea! I do enjoy being on this boat. I've been wondering. Would it be possible to build me a house? You remember? The kids and David and I lived on a farm. Oh, Bev, I heard he built you a house. We had nature all around. We had dogs and goats. It was a cozy little farmhouse. It wasn't much, but it was ours. Oh. Oh, my little farmhouse. That's right. It's right there. Well, a job well done once again. Not everyone is good with houses. Oh, Bev. She's reminding me a little too much of my own grandma right now. <laughs> she has memory problems too, so it kind of hits hard when I see that in games like this. <gasps> How pretty! I sat down and I see all the... <gasps> How beautiful! I didn't know that could happen when you sit down. Oh, it's all my friends. Oh, I love it. That is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Oh, uh-oh. Bev, don't break my heart. Oh. I know what I wanted to tell you. This man from my town was one of two real estate agents around. He had just started and wanted to make an impression. He had a giant mustache and was always wearing a tuxedo. It was quite odd. Anyway, it turns out that he couldn't sell his house to save his life, but he was the lead salesperson in his district for two years straight. The local paper did a big story on him. They found out that his wife was buying up all the properties. She had like 20 houses in her name. The whole neighborhood was nearly empty. She could afford it. Her dad had struck rich in oil. Just goes to show you, you can't judge a... by his. Well then. Oh, Bev. You're scaring me. I hate it. It reminds me of Alice and my grandma. Oh. Oh, she's knitting up there. That's so cute. I know how to sew, but I don't know how to knit or crochet. Oh! I knitted this for you earlier. Should keep you nice and warm if the weather ever takes a turn for the worse. Oh, thank you! Oh, I wish I had a Bev blanket right now and be all warm and cuddly. 
All right, let's go see Jackie. Apparently the vending machine has a refill, so hopefully it's not a half-eaten chocolate bar. Ooh. Hello? Ooh! An opal? It costs an opal? Sold out. Let's see. Uh, using an oval, buy a crispy burlap men ba protein bar from the vending machine in Overlook Hospital. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. There we go. Oh! Thank you. Oh, oh, wow! It's God! <laughs> God's chocolate bar! Oh, Jackie! You'll never guess what I just grabbed! It's a Jesus bar! Where are you? I guess she's all the way up here. Oh! Oh! Did she move the stuff? We could go over here now. Could we go over here before? Oh! Over here! Mm -hmm. This place is falling apart. We need to do something. Yeah. Hey, Smellers! Mm -hmm. Just thought of that. Mm -hmm. Did you get my letter? Yeah. It was pretty good, wasn't it? Hey, lighten up, will ya? I didn't really fart up that envelope. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. Or did I? Anyway, thanks for the visit. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, look at that. The ladder is back. Great. I told you, it leads to a room of one of uh, the more difficult patients here. Mm. Scratch that. The most difficult patient. She's got some issues, like, in the head. Like, difficult issues. She's really a pain. Mm. Yeah, okay, okay, I know. It's my job. Don't look at me like that. I'll take good care of her, I promise. Mm. It's just... Well, it was a nice breather, not having to deal with her. The hospital was running so much smoother. Anyway, back to the grind. I guess if I ever want to have a chance to get on top of this. Mm -hmm. Hey, Stella, I, um, though you're busy and all with your boat and your fancy duties, saving the world or whatever you always do, mm. but think you could help out an old pal? Listen, here's what we're going to do. I have an extra pager here. Mm. It was my colleague's. Well, before he just up and quit mid-shift and left me all alone to manage this shit show. Anyway, take it. That way, if I ever feel overwhelmed, I can just text you and you could come to the rescue. Mm -hmm. How about it? Ah, yeah, sure, why not? Fantastic! Oh, wow! I feel like a weight has been lifted off my chest. Oh, crap, I almost forgot. Mm. What about that snack? Anything good? What? There was just one thing left. What a load of bull. Better be good. What was it? Mm. A crispy burlap men protein bar? Mm. Well, no thank you. Mm. That shit's full of unnatural ingredients and my body's a temple. Mm. Question of self-respect. Mm. Well, really gotta go now. See you soon. Would you like... Hang on. You may not want that, but what about some toffee? Can't you cook anything else? I'm getting kind of sick of this. Oh, I already gave you some? Uh... Fruit candy. Mm. Right on. Thanks for the meal. Not much of a meal. I was starving. Hug. Hmm. Mm. I like hugs. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah. Needed that. I don't get nearly enough hugs. Please. Please get out of the way. I want to visit the patient. The ladder's back, but I. You're in the way. Please, Jackie. Oh, you punk. Let me in. I'm intimidating you. I'm intimidating you with my dance moves. Aren't you scared of this? Get out of my way. She's not stunned at all. All right. Where am I? <laughs> this is... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are we? Why are there hospital patients over here? Have I been here before? Oh! Nice! I think we got a new recipe. Hmm. Okay, it was just around the corner. Well, that's good to know. We got a bunch of treasure. I'm gonna check one more time. 
And if Jackie hasn't moved, I'm throwing the pager off the boat. Jackie, please. Ah. Uh. I guess we can't go there just yet. We'll come back when we can. Beverly, please don't scare me. Psst. Sweet Pea, you've probably wondered where I've been lately. I've been hiding out in my house. I didn't want to come out. Just like in a small town, word gets around and the gossip starts. My walls are not that thick. I can still hear people talking, talking about me. This kind of thing, unwarranted gossip, I mean. It happened all the time, back in town. People don't seem to change. One of my good friends was always the nicest to me. She would always praise my hairstyle or the way I dressed. The compliments were always coming. And this was when I had just lost my brother. You remember? I told you that story about the sudden brain aneurysm. Poor thing. Talking, taking the dog for a walk, and then poof, on the ground. Well, it was around that time. One day I was at her house for a garden party and we had to leave early. My husband wasn't feeling too well. Too many cocktails. He was such a lightweight. Well, we left quite suddenly, but I had forgotten my purse. I came back not 15 minutes later and from the sidewalk I could hear... Well, she was talking behind my back. Talking about how I wore the same dress to a party. Two parties in a row. Oh, no! She said it in a very offhanded way. Like she was stating a fact. Everyone knows that. She should know better then. That's what I remember. The way it made me feel. I didn't like it. This is how I feel now. Nobody likes to be kicked when they're down. I've been feeling like I'm losing my mind. And on top of that, other people on this boat have been talking about me behind my back. I don't want you to put yourself in a delicate situation, but could you help? Maybe do the rounds and see for yourself what is going on? I would appreciate it. Thank you, sweet pea. Dish the dirt. Uh, I mean, there's only other- there's only one other person on this boat, but I can do that. Talk to the other passengers. Uh, Buck? You have been talking shit? Buck! Oh, wrong house. Buck! Uh. Beverly? Talking behind her back? Ah, seven graces of Amalda! Uh. I would never, I couldn't! Hmm. I thought she liked me. Uh. Weird. I hope I didn't do anything to upset her. Did it change? I think I might have to... Oh, okay. Yeah, he's the only one. I mean, even if he wanted to talk shit, who would he talk shit with? He's the only one here. Oh! Oh my goodness, that scared me! Oh! Kitchen emergency. Need help, ASAP. Smell ya. Alright, I'll be there in a second. Sweet Pea, I didn't sleep well last night. My back was killing me. What are you doing? Are you busy right now? Um... No. Oh! I didn't ask you to do that. I haven't been talking to anyone. Have people been talking behind my back? I don't think they would have time to form an opinion of me. Are you sure I asked you to do that? That sounds like something you would do on your own. I might go introduce myself now. Hopefully you haven't ruined my reputation by now. Oh, sweet pea. Always trying to help out. I don't know what just happened, but um, I have an emergency in the kitchen to go worry about, so uh, I'll be back. <laughs> Great. Oh shit, Smellers! You really came. Always knew I could count on you. I didn't leave. I was still, I was still docked. And nice to have a visitor too. What? Oh yeah, shit, work, right? I'm just so swamped. I had to make things worse. Miss Difficult up there is being extra bothersome today. I can't leave my post here. It'd be too dangerous for her. Listen, I need you to get some grub for these poor people. They've been complaining all day. I swear, it's like they're helpless. Anyway, you should get, get to the cafeteria and grab some food trays. Anything will do. I mean, this is a hospital, right? People can't just expect five-star service around here. Then just pass them around. It'll shut them up for a moment. Hopefully, I'll be done up here by then. All right. I. Sometimes she seems a little rude to the people. I don't know what to say. 
This is what we're serving. If you're not happy, you don't have to eat here. Oh! Sir! Nutritious slop. Tomorrow's menu. Tasty slop. Ooh. Mmm. <laughs> Yummy. Alright, nutritious slop times three. Would you like some slop, good sir? Would you like... Oh, look at all this delicious food we have here. And you get... Nutritious slop. <laughs> Dish type? Disgusting. <laughs> this... This looks like food from yesterday. I don't mean it looks like old food. I mean it looks like it's already been eaten. Ugh. Fine. What about you? This place is falling apart. We need to do something. Okay. Well, you know what else is falling apart? The kitchen. You're lucky I don't have an appetite right now. Hey, hello. Are you guys waiting in line to get in the hospital? I can't feel my bones. Is that normal? Um... I sneezed so hard that my dinner came out my nose. I hope they could put it back in. I don't want to be wasteful. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Can I interest you in some slop? This again? Listen, I'm not picky about food. Really not picky. Like, the unpickiest eater. But maybe mix it up sometime, huh? I don't work here! Talk to someone who does! <laughs> I'm just here to help, and that means I don't want to be a part of this. Hello, would you like some slop? Mm. Ew! 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 Mm. Ew! I don't like this food. Well, I know, but it's all we got. I don't work in the kitchen, I'm just here. <laughs> Done? Hey, I can't hear the incessant whining of hungry patients anymore. Does it mean you fed all of them? I fed three of them. That's great. A bit less on my plate, a bit more on theirs. Mm -hmm. Gotta admit, I was kind of scared you wouldn't follow the procedure. But you did. Look like a good little soldier. A modern orderly, really. Anyway, thanks a bunch for your help. Mm. And, well, something tells me I'm be needing your help pretty soon. Miss Difficult does not appear to be calming down anytime soon. Well, maybe I'll finally get to meet Miss Difficult soon. I have a hunch that they are the next spirit that can join us. But we haven't seen them yet, so I will not know until we meet them. Maybe that'll happen in the next episode. Because we're kind of jumping between people at the moment. Between Beverly and Jackie. Alright, well, in the meantime, I'm going to try and figure out where this is. Hmm. So there's a little island, and it's right near it. Oh. Hug! Hug! From my butterfly sister. Okay. Uh, it has to be this one. So it's, it's somewhere over here, right? So it's gotta be like... Uh... <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> what are you <laughs> freaking out? Lost people! Help, please! <laughs> Hide and see! Jeez! Everyone always needs something! <laughs> Bev! Oh, wait, treasure! Hang on! We found it! <laughs> wait! Wait! Yes! Water retaining soil. Ooh, we got upgrades! Oh, great pirate captain. What a marvelous find! In the ice, no less. Many captains have perished in such conditions. Not ye. No need to walk the plank. Arr! Now we just have to wait for the next issue of Looter's Library Review. Hopefully it has more articles about seagulls. Nice! Oh, I didn't know you could get improvements from that. That's good, that's good. I like that a lot. Anyway, what's up, Bev? Sorry, I had to get some treasure. Sweet Pea! I do enjoy being on this boat. I've been wondering, would it be possible to build me a house? Oh, Beverly, you're hurting me. You remember? The kids and Dave and I lived on the farm. We had nature all around. We had dogs and goats. It was a cozy little farmhouse. 
Wasn't much, but it was ours. Mm. Beverly. Oh, this just gets sadder each time. All right, I think we will help out Jackie one last time so she's not freaking out anymore, as she said in her text. And oh no, hang on. Bev? Oh! Look, Stella, I know you know something's not right with me. With my memory. With how I can think about things. I... I can't think the way I used to anymore. It's really hard. But you're here, and it helps. You know what? Don't worry about it. Right, so... I did remember more of that dream I was telling you about the other day. You know, the one with the projector and the sweet corn? That's right. In that one, I was looking at my dad's old film negative. It was from when he was stationed in Europe. I don't remember where exactly. He never really talked about his experiences. He probably was my complete opposite. He did mention seeing some beautiful houses. He always said we should have built our house in that style. What was the name of that place? Nordweiler? That sounds right. Hopefully, if you find that acetate, it will help me remember a bit more. Oh, and take this. I'm sure it will come in handy. Thanks again, sweet pea. Oh, Nordweiler House. Ooh! Find acetate in Nordweiler. Oh! Ooh, we've got more stuff to do for Bev. At least she... Uh, I don't know, at least she knows that her memory is wrong and she's admitting it. Sometimes some people don't like to admit that they're having trouble with that kind of thing and it's sad. I know from personal experience. <laughs> but at least she knows and we're gonna help her out the best we can. We'll be there for Bev no matter what. Over here! Oh! Sorry. Let me try that again. There we go. Oh, it's you! I thought it smelled like eggs. <laughs> oh god. Kidding, kidding, jeez, chill a bit. You're gonna blow a fuse. So listen, Little Miss doesn't want a nap up there as being a real awful handful today. She's such a pain. Long story short, I haven't been able to make my rounds properly. There are a couple of patients that have a tendency to water around the hospital grounds. Without yours truly to shepherd them back to their room, they'll surely be lost and scared. More like mocking and distracting the staff. Mind you, they're not dangerous, just confused. Mm -hmm. But we can't have patients just wandering around. Management calls it a liability. You'd be a gem if you'd help me out by finding them. There should be three of them. Look for any patient visibly out of place or hiding. Mm. And they'll just talk to them. They'll listen to you and head right back to their room. Hey, thanks again. Aw, uh, no, anytime. Alright, let's check over here first, because this is- if anyone is gonna hide over there, this is probably be the place- Like you! Mm -hmm. Am I lost? No, of course not! I'm a doctor! Mm -hmm. Yes, a doctor of medicine with a doctorate in medi medicology. The best of the best. I know all of the bones. Mm -hmm. There's the radius, and the diameter, and- wait. Mm -hmm. That's not right. Alright, I'm not really a doctor. I just wanted to have some fun. Mm -hmm. I'll go back to my room. Oh my god! It just got Thanos snapped! Oh no! <laughs> Hello, you. Would it be possible to... Well, if it's not too much to ask. Would it be possible to take a small... Just a tiny... Nothing really. Would it be possible to take a small bite? What? No! I see. Well, I'll be around if you change your mind. Run! <laughs> hey, you! What's your name? Where are you from? What's your favorite color? Do you ever dream? What are you doing later? Are you helping people? Do you have a dog? Why do you only have a cat? Do you not like dogs? Have you ever been bitten by a dog? Is that why? Is it because the bike got infected? Is your arm alright? Does your arm smell or something? Can you still see out of your left eye? Are you blind now? Do you see spots that when you close your eye? Did you go to the hospital? Did they get it checked out? Is that why you're here now? Well, is it? Whew, I can't believe I did most of that without stumbling. Yeah, you. Listen, you. I'm in big trouble. Not even supposed to be here. They got me. They got me good. I'll get them good. I was sleeping in a park, minding my own business, doing what Mark does, which is sleeping in parks. I already said that. Pay attention! So I'm out like a bag of clementines. Then out of the blue, I'm here. I'm not even sure where this is. I just know that Mark here, which is me, is not supposed to be here. Mark needs to be free. Free to sleep in parks. Free to like the squirrels. So, here's the plan. I need to make a rope. A rope to help me climb down here. Mm -hmm. I've got a guy. You know? I know a guy. I know some guys. 
So this guy is standing by, waiting for Mark here to make his escape. If you bring me some linen, I'll make a nice rope and I'll be scot-free. And you'll get the satisfaction of helping me, Mark. <laughs> Hurry back with the linen. I can't eat another bowl of gruel. Gruel! <laughs> but wait one second! You've already got some! So hand over the linen, will ya? Yeah, what, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Thank you so much. I'm going to escape and meet the guy and it's going to be amazing. <laughs> I can't thank you enough. Mark would say later, but you'll never see Mark again. <laughs> Was Mark a ghost? Did Mark ever exist? Well, he does, because I am Mark. Mm -hmm. Prestige. Later! Oh, okay, bye! Don't talk to me! I'm waiting for Raccoon Inc. to come and restock the vending machine. Then, when they're not looking, I'll sneak into one of their boxes, and I'll finally be able to explore the world. Imagine where I'll go! First, on a cargo mm -hmm. ship, and then off to a storage hangar, probably for a couple of years. Finally, I'll probably go to a recycling center to be made into a brand new box. Mm. You know, you made some pretty good points. I'll just go back to my room. Sometimes that would make that mold makes funny shapes. Oh, okay. I didn't say a single word. <laughs> Alright, what about you guys? Uh, are you out of place? Mm -hmm. Hi there, I'm Flo. This is Lou. L Lo. Mm -hmm. We're looking for our cat. She's quite old, but she's great. She can't be too far. Mm -hmm. She's so fluffy, super fluffy. She sleeps a lot. Sometimes she sleeps on my back when I'm mm -hmm. reading. It's not super comfortable for me, but she likes it. Well, have you seen a cat besides yours? I actually have not. I'm mm. sorry. That's too bad. I was really hoping someone would have seen her. Well, we, sh well, we, we shouldn't give up. Mm. She's bound to be here somewhere. Thanks anyway. I'll keep an eye out for your cat. It's always important to have a kitty. Kitties are very important. Alright, I think... I don't know where another one could be. Maybe up here? Somewhere... What about you? Mm. Oh, hey you! You gotta help me out. My leg is all bent up. Mm. Look at it! Look at it! Oh, it hurts so bad! Mm. You gotta help me out and fast. I'm not going in there, though. I can't pay and I hate hospitals. Mm. Why did I come here, then? That's none of your business. And I was saying, I really hate mm. hospitals. They smell like vinegar. Vinegar is for chips, not hospitals. Ow, my leg! Mm. Listen, I'm gonna need a few things. Listen up! Oh, I'm in so much pain! Mm. Oh, wait! You got it all! Nice! One second. All right, all right. Mm. Boom! Nope. Did you think I was going to stand up? Mm. Actually, I was feeling pretty good sitting down. Darn. Mm. Now I don't know. Should I stand up and get tired? Should I sit down and get tired? Mm. Either way, I'll be tired. I just need to figure out what kind of tired I want to be. Okay. <laughs> I just, like, I'm hoarding all this stuff, so I'm completing all these quests without even trying. Ah! <laughs> what are you doing up here? Mm -hmm. Shush! I'm trying to find a way to sneak in. I have it from very good source that this tower isn't a tower at all. It's actually a rocket ship. It was built by the reptilians so they could flee to the stars. At least once they're done enslaving humanity. And as you know, reptilians have primo taste when it comes to snacks. If I could just find a way in, I'm sure I could snatch a few of them. I've been having a craving for ants on a log for weeks now. What? You've seen some in my room? Why didn't you say so before? See ya! Oh no, he got Thanos snap too! Yeah, I managed it alright, except I think they got Thanos snapped, so you might have some vacancies. Mm. How was it? Not too bad? Yeah, I didn't think so. Sure, Greta is super weird, but I guess that's just her. Mm -hmm. They're still a good bunch, very cooperative, unlike you-know-who in her tower up there. Plus, I was pretty sure they'd go back to their rooms after meeting you. Mm. I know I would, if only to avoid the smell. Jackie! Mm. <laughs> oh, come on, you know I joke around. Anyway, mm. yeah, thanks for the help. Sometimes I wonder why I even bother with this job. Guess I don't know what else I could be doing. Plus, they tell me I'm doing some good while working here, so... Win-win? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Never quite got that expression. Mm. Oh! Almost forgot! I had to rummage through my locker to finally find it, but I wanted to be straight with you. Mm. There you go, an old coin, just like the one you lent me the other day. Remember? For the vending machine. Anyway, there we are now. Square. Well, smell you later. Oh, an oval! Thank you. I wonder if they'll ever come on our boat, along with the other one. Maybe once we meet the Miss Difficult, they'll come on the boat with us. I don't know, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. And this seems like a good place to end it for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. Remember to take care of yourselves. Don't get Thanos snapped and have a good day.